Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel, Math is Fine. I am Teacher Sheryl, and for those who are new in this channel, don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video, and click the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you will be notified. Stay tuned! Our lesson for today is all about estimating the products of decimal numbers with reasonable results. Here are the steps in estimating product. Number one, round its decimal to the nearest whole number or to the highest place value before multiplying. Number two, find the product of the rounded factors. Let's study some examples. Estimate the product of 5 and 23 hundredths and 4 and 75 hundredths. To get the answer, first we're going to round the factors to the nearest whole number before multiplying. So, if we're going to round 5 and 23 hundredths to the nearest whole number, this number is closer to 5 or closer to 6. All right, 5 and 23 hundredths is closer to 5. How about 4 and 75 hundredths? This number is closer to 4 or closer to 5? All right, 4 and 75 hundredths is closer to 5. Then, we're going to get the product of the rounded factors. 5 times 5, the answer is... 25. Therefore, the estimated product of 5 and 23 hundredths and 4 and 75 hundredths is 25. Another example. Estimate the product of 17 and 85 hundredths and 3 and 54 hundredths. So, we're going to round our factors to the nearest whole number. Okay, the highest place value for our first factor, which is 17 and 85 hundredths, is tens. So, we're going to round it off to the nearest tens. Okay, 17 and 85 hundredths is closer to 10 or closer to 20? Alright, 17 and 85 hundredths is closer to 20. Okay, how about for our second factor, 3 and 54 hundredths? Okay, 3 and 54 hundredths is closer to 3 or closer to 4? Alright, 3 and 54 hundredths is closer to 4. Then we're going to get the product. 20 times 4, the answer is equal to 80. Therefore, the estimated product of 17 and 85 hundredths and 3 and 54 hundredths is 80. Next example, estimate the product of 97 and 34 hundredths and 5 and 96 hundredths. To get the answer, first we're going to round our factor to the nearest whole number. Okay, for our first factor, 97 and 34 hundredths, this is closer to 90 or closer to 100? Alright, 97 and 34 hundredths is closer to 100. How about 5 and 96 hundredths? Is this decimal number closer to 5 or closer to 6? Alright, 5 and 96 hundredths is closer to 6. Then we're going to multiply the rounded factors. 100 times 6, the answer is equal to 600. Therefore, the estimated product of 97 and 34 hundredths and 5 and 96 hundredths is 600. I hope that you understand our lesson for today. And for those who are new in this channel, don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video, and click the notification bell so that 
whenever I uploaded a new video, you will be notified. Thank you so much!